Hey everyone, it's Andrew, and I decided to do another start to finish series. This is going to be another hybrid design, as you can tell by the name. I'm calling this 2.0 because I didn't know what else to call it. So, this is a Super 7 Cabochon. You might remember this from the Complex Pendant series. Um, I ended up scrapping that piece just because it wasn't exactly up to my standards of what I would like to be releasing. And so I decided to redo that piece in a much more simple design to kind of uh, display the Super 7 Cabochon a bit better. So I've traced the stone. I'm now adding two little accent stones. That's what those, those will be two little tube settings down at the bottom. And then the little V marking I made is a marking for my bezel setting that I am going to build around the bottom of this stone to make sure it is secure and doesn't fall out of this pendant. It'll be a pretty simple bezel set with an open back. And then I'm going to build a Argentium frame off of that bezel setting. So this is this will be where we attach the wires to, because this will be a hybrid piece, so we will be adding some wire elements into it. Right now I'm outlining the frame, and this is just giving me an idea of how much space I need to fill in this design. So I'm going to start with also adding a little bale up here. I was going to flatten out the frame, but then I decide, decided to use this little point to add the bale up here. We'll be using some thicker sheet metal or a tube or something along those lines to build that bale. And then I'm going to also be doing my classic swirl design, and so that'll start at the upper left of the stone and then cascade down to the middle right. And this will help hold in the top part of the stone. The bezel setting should hold the stone in, but this will make sure it doesn't slide up and out of that bezel setting. I'm going to add some details on the side. And this will be the main swirl will be some half round wire. This uh, opening swirl on the outside will be a utilization of 20 gauge square wire and I'll be using 30 gauge wire to connect it together. Flip over the design so that way I can curve out this line a bit better. And then I'm also going to be cascading an opening swirl down on the other side and adding another layer of detail to that outside using a 21 gauge square wire or a round wire or something along those lines. I'll figure that out once I actually get into the construction of this piece. Then I'm going to be using 30 gauge to weave those all together. I'm thinking of adding an accent stone in this top part as well. And so to build that up, I'm going to start by adding a, another spiral weave detail onto the inner part of this main curl. Kind of want to just thin out the top part there. I don't want it to be too bulky. Drawing in that spiral weave detail. And that will be built with two 21 gauge square wires. and then weaving that together with 30 gauge and adding a little accent stone in the upper right. This will be prong set in there. And then we'll do some detailing lines coming down to accentuate that uh, swirl that opens up on the bottom there. And I'm thinking of doing kind of a mystic kind of color tone. And the reason I say mystic is because I think of like greens and blues and purples when I think of that sort of thing. And so I'm thinking of doing a Montana sapphire and some Savorite garnets for the accents in this design. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed seeing this uh, drawing come together. The next part will be the frame build. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great week.